Several countries have expressed their willingness to participate in the AFP modernization program's Horizon 3 phase and improve their country's defense ties with the Philippines. First was India, which promoted deepening ties and cooperation on counter-terrorism, cybersecurity, maritime security, and specialized training programs, as well as ensuring the timely delivery of the BrahMos-based anti-ship missile systems to the Philippine Navy. Considering that the government of India has offered a credit facility to the Philippine government to allow the Philippine Coast Guard to purchase Indian-built vessels, including those designed and built by Goa Shipyards Limited to strengthen its overall capability including enforcing maritime laws and sovereignty in the West Philippine Sea. The Philippine Coast Guard is looking to acquire additional 97-meter Magbanua class MMRVs and 84-meter Salang class OPVs and is looking at the procurement of larger ships similar to the size of the Samarth class. The Indian Guards, ICG, Offshore Patrol Vessel, OPV, Sajit, which is the second in the series of five OPVs, was commissioned at the Goa Shipyard Limited, GSL, in Vasco Town, Goa, by Raj Kumar, Secretary, Defense Production. The vessel has been designed and built indigenously by GSL. The first ship in the series, ICGS, ICG ship, Sachet, was commissioned by Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh in May 2020. The ship was commissioned in the presence of K. Natarajan, Director General of the Indian Coast Guard, and others. Sajit has been equipped with features like an integrated bridge system, an integrated platform management system, a power management system, and high-power external firefighting. It is capable of carrying one twin-engine helicopter, four high-speed boats, and two inflatable boats for boarding operations, search and rescue, law enforcement, and maritime patrol. The ship will be based in Goa and will be extensively deployed for EEZ, Exclusive Economic Zone, surveillance and other duties. Recently, India presented its support by providing a credit line that is essential to defense matters as the AFP modernizes further. This is nothing new, as the same can be provided to the Philippine Coast Guard as that credit line has provided for the agency to procure air assets such as this helicopter from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Most of the discussions that we made about the Philippine Coast Guard usually talk about the ships the agency purchased and added to its fleet of white-hulled maritime enforcement vessels. Not to mention that we also discussed some other stuff that deals with the agency's desire to modernize further in terms of building additional facilities and improving its overall maritime domain awareness capabilities. This one will deal with India's offer that aims to strengthen relations of both countries in a way that they provide it for the Philippine Coast Guard to consider as it improves their air unit to implement maritime surveillance, search and rescue, and maritime enforcement. This comes as China continues to push its aggression in the recent supply mission at Ayungan base by using Coast Guard vessels and maritime militia under grey zone tactics. The transport chief added he envisions world-class PCG men and women that can perform like the Coast Guards of other developed countries. The personnel complement of the Coast Guard has grown exponentially, from only around 7,000 several years ago to over 26,000 today. The procurement of the vessel is part of the Department of Transportation's Maritime Safety Capability Enhancement Phase 2 project. It looks to enhance the PCG's ability to patrol the country's maritime areas and provide rapid response to offshore and coastal incidents.